Welcome everyone, welcome to another video and it's another first impression of an early access title. This time it's called Brass Birmingham and it's based, as you can see here, it's still the story of competing entrepreneurs in the West Midlands during England's Industrial Revolution between the years 1770 and 1870. So centuries worth of industrialization we go through. During the game, you'll expand your empire by establishing canals and rails and building and developing various industries, including cotton mills, coal mines, ironworks, manufacturers, potteries, and breweries. So it's based in England, in the Midlands, and obviously by the name, it's based around Birmingham, or the Birmingham area, which is the, uh, the area that's been credited with being the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution in Great Britain. So in Bass Birmingham, your success is measured by victory points VP. The player with the most victory points is deemed the best entrepreneur and wins the game. So this panel, you will see your so this is our character. This is actually online capable and it's also customizable as well. So you've got VP victory points, we can see there we've got none. These are victory points which you earn for building and activating industries. Uh, this is money, £47 right now, which will be used to build industries and links. And this is income, the amount of money that you will receive every turn. So that's our constant income supply. And these are income points, you accumulate income points and at the certain times they will increase your income money. Do not worry about it just yet, we'll discuss this later. So this is a tutorial, it's the best way of showing the game off. It takes you through step by step each aspect of the game. It can get a little bit confused if you try and just sort of play it without playing the tutorial first. And it's also the easiest way for me to show you the game as well. In Brass you will build, develop and activate industries. There are two types of industries. So you've got potteries, manufacturers and cotton mills produce goods. These industries activate upon selling the goods. So it's like you get a contract from a merchant. Then you start producing the uh, the items themselves. Coal mines, ironworks and breweries provide resources needed to build up and develop other industries. Trading is you need a beer. We'll see that in a moment when we start trading. You need a beer at your brewery or somewhere in order to sell your products to your merchants. So it's almost like you're bribing them with beer, you're getting them drunk, so they accept the contract. Which is a bit strange. So these are your cards on the bottom. You need to discard one card per action. The type of card only matters for the build action. So the cotton mill is a building that produces cotton. Well, technically it doesn't. It actually mills it, you grow it in the field. So, we'll ignore that part. The sale of cotton will activate the cotton mill, and then your VP. Okay, enough talking for now. Let's start building. These are cards you hold will define the place where you can build. So, it's got places, it's got industries as well as towns in the cards. So, to build an industry, you have to have the industry card. You also need to build in a particular place, you need that location as a card as well. So it is the cards, industry cards and location cards. So industry cards allow you to build industry to find on the card in any location connected to your network. Location cards allow you to build any industry but only in the location defined by the card. The location doesn't have to be connected to your network. So you want to build something outside of your network, you have to have a location card. If it is on your network, as in it links to rails or canals you can then build it without having to look the location card so remember the card limits the plates like cards limit the places where you can build let's build so build a cotton mill in Stoke on Trent so it's a build and there's Stoke on Trent We've got a place for construction site for pottery or ironworks. And a construction site for manufacturer as well. So, click on that. I'll see right now, because it's tutorial, some of the parts are actually locked. So you don't go building the wrong things. So there's a cotton mill. 
It's worth five victory points if it's uh, operating. So we've got to discard at least one card. Obviously, it's telling us which one to actually discard, which is the cotton mill, because we don't actually need it anymore. So building another cotton mill would be a good idea. Good idea. You have a cotton mill card, but to use that industry card, you need to build a link. So right now we're in the age of canals, as it says here, the canal era. Later on we'll be able to connect it through rails. So let's build a, a link between Stoke-on-Trent and Stone. So for link action you need to discard any card. The cost of linking is £3. Discard the selected card and build the link. Discard the selected card, which I haven't selected one. So we've got coal. We've got ironworks, we've got pottery, another coal, ironworks, pottery and coal. So we've got three coal, but only two of the other industries. So we'll get rid of a coal mine card. So it's highlighted the link we want to uh, do. Obviously, if it was like in the tutorial, it would be able to do anything. So we'd be able to, well, we'd be able to do something wrong, wouldn't we? So, so we click on here. Okay, we've got £32, we've got 10 income points, no income yet, and no VP. Okay, so we need to end the turn. Okay, build a cotton mill in stone. So we've linked those together, so now we're going to get stone content as well as stone having a cotton mill in each. Again, can't go wrong. So we need to discard a card. Again, it's highlighted on we need to get rid of, which is, again, it's a manufacturer this time. I'd rather get rid of a... Oh, right, so we don't have any uh, cotton mill cards. Okay, so get rid of that. Okay, so to sell goods from potteries, cotton mills, manufacturers, you need to build... You need beer. This is a strange part that I said at the beginning. You need to sort of bribe your merchants to take the contract by getting them drunk. Build a brewery in Stafford. Oh, this is a bit I like. Uh, okay, so build a. So I'll click on the build. Highlighted where we need to be. Build a brewery. Get four victory points and four income points. Oh, four income points, yeah. Uh, but we need an iron mine. Uh, no, not an iron mine, an iron works. So let's get rid of Stafford. So we don't need that card anymore. So the brewery needs iron for construction. So iron is producing iron works. At the moment, there are no iron works on the board, but you can buy iron from the market. So iron currently costs two pounds per unit. Click on the market and buy iron. So it's highlighted the um, market we need. We could go here, which is coal. But we need iron, one unit of iron. So we're down to thirteen pounds. It's only got ten income points, but a potential nineteen there. Okay, let's end the turn. So the board had merchant tiles. These are the places where you will sell goods from your industries. So in this game, you can sell goods from cotton mills in Warrington. So as our merchant. So the sell action requires a link to a merchant tile. What you want to sell, build a link between Warrington and Stoke-on-Trent. So we got a link. I think that's the link. Okay, so we've got Birmingham, Kidderminster, Dying Works, two Dying Works, and two coal mines and two potteries. Um. We'll get rid of a pottery works. Okay. So I'll put that link in there. So great, now we're ready to sell cotton. So sell cotton to the merchant. So that's your sales. There's research as well, which we will see a little bit later on. 
Let's get rid of a card. Uh, we'll get rid of, oh, good grief. Uh, Birmingham's quite a large city. It's pretty close by, but uh, then again, so is Kidderminster. We'll get rid of Kidderminster. So, cotton milk. Sell for me the one of them, actually. So, select an act. Select a spot. I'll put my teeth in. A sell action requires beer. Select beer from your brewery, which is unfortunately down here. So I'll use the WSD to move on the map. So that's one beer. Congratulations, you have successfully activated two industries. So, cotton mill will activate when the goods are sold. So, the brewery activated when the last beer was taken. The activation of industries earn victory points and income points. Victory points will be counted at the end of an era. So, income points have increased your income level. You can see it's plus five now. So, each turn will get five pounds. Let me explain this in more detail. Okay. So income plus is the amount of money you get at the beginning of each turn. Your income level depends on a num on your number of income points when you activated these buildings. Your income points increase by nine. So we've got nineteen of twenty right now. As a result, your income level increased to five. In your place summary panel, you can find how many income points are needed to increase your income level. So we've got another industry. Obviously, we've got two cotton mills. And when he sold the um, first one, or no, the second one in stone, the first one, which is stuck on chunk, still has its uh, stores. You only need one lot of beer for each turn you want to sell. So that's how many times you sell during a turn. You only need one lot of beer. To convince the merchants to take your goods. Oh, wait a minute. No, we don't. Okay, I'm corrected. So I actually need beer for each turn. I didn't realise that. Yeah, okay. So I sell cotton from the cotton mill. So obviously you had some in stores just here. We've got no other breweries. And the brewery we've ha actually got and activated has got no beer either. Okay, so I was incorrect by that. Uh, I've gone through the tutorial a couple of times, and I actually... Uh, that's weird, because actually... Okay, whatever. Okay, let's end the turn. Okay, so we've got plus seven now. We've got 24 income points. It comes to plus seven pounds per turn. We've got 15. We've got no victory points yet, because obviously that's not counted until the end of the, uh, the turn. Now we need to secure coal and iron supplies. Build a coal mine in Belper. So where is Belper? Let's see him out a little bit, shall we? Oh, there we go. Oh, right, right over here. So we've got a place already. Yeah, it zooms back out. There we go. So I've already got a place to uh, construct one. So construction menu. Click on the coal mine. One victory point only for uh, each coal mine. So build a coal mine, and uh, we need to get rid of it. Uh, so we'll get rid of Belper, so I've already built there. The next step is to build ironworks in Derby. Build a link so you can use an industry card. Because we've got no location cards anywhere near. Oh, wait a minute, yeah, we have. We've got, Der oh, no, we've got Birmingham and Kidderminster still. No, Coalbrookdale. Ah. Oh. Well, see, Coalbrookdale is named after... Cool. So it's a bit strange to have a, uh, a coal mine there. Okay, let's build a link. So we've got Coalbrook Dill. I'll keep that one. We'll get rid of Birmingham. Hopefully we'll get that card back. Okay, so now we don't need a location card for building in Derby. We just need the uh, manufacturing. So we've got an ironwork slot. 
but we need to end the turn first. Okay, so there's one important thing I didn't show you at the beginning. Here we go. You are not alone. So around six of eight, and we've got an opponent. In Brash, you'll always have at least one opponent. Let's see what the red player does. So he's playing a derby card. So he's putting the manufactory down. Third player's built a cotton mill. It's good that they didn't use the slot fan ironwork. So they could have sort of gazumped us, sort of thing. And put an ironworks in and then stopped us from doing what I wanted. But we can always sell there. No, well, we'll come to that later on. Jump ahead of the uh, the tutorial again. So we will see what the red player is up to later. Now let's build an ironworks. So construction of an ironworks requires coal. We've got coal. The coal can be delivered from any linked coal mine. It doesn't matter whether, which player owns the coal mine. So you can actually take advantage of someone else's industries. If they've put something there, you can actually use that resource if it's your turn. They've got some in stock. So in this case of coal, we have got a coal mine. If we didn't, and but he did, and he hasn't used his coal reserves, we could actually use those ourselves. It costs us money to do it, but it does anywhere. So come on, let's get to work. Okay, all right. So build an ironworks in Derby. So click on the construction. So build the ironworks. It gets three victory points. It needs coal. We already know that. And we get rid of one of them. So we've got three ironwork cards. Get rid of one. Okay. Zoom out a little bit. So we have an interesting situation. There's an empty space in the iron market. In this situation, building any ironworks will sell iron to this market and fill all empty spaces. So there's empty spaces for your iron or coal. You don't have to sell it to a merchant. It's actually a raw material that's used for building others, other goods and services. So it actually just fills the market up. So it activates straight away if there's a gap. So we've got minus three. So an iron to the market earns you money according to the spaces you've filled. Let's prepare to sell again. Build a manufacturer. So in Burton on Trent, one manufacturer. Burton on Trent. Where's Burton on Trent? It's down here. So that's Red's link. But we can still use it. Which is quite good. So manufacturing. Which is just there. Let's get rid of a uh, Ben on Trent, which is good. So get rid of that. Don't need any more. So coal mine's been activated. Okay. So in brass, the turn order depends on the amount of money spent in the previous turn. The smaller the expense, the faster your turn will be. So otherwise, the less money you spend, you go first in the next turn. As long as it's less than the other opponents. So at the end of round. So we got... Uh, okay. So he's built a brewery. Hold on, the opponent built a cotton mill and a brewery. They're probably preparing for a sale. You may wonder what the sale will be. I feel another region from you, so the map is actually slightly bigger. Let's see what happens during the next action. So we've got Nottingham, which is another merchant town. So he's got rid of Canock. Got another link. So I feel bad for hiding Nottingham from you. Let me redeem myself. I will teach you how to develop industries. So this is the research panel. We need to get rid of a card. Seriously, just to look at the research panel. Alright, uh, oh dear. We've got Dudley. We've got Coventry. We've got Coalbrookdale still. We've got two ironworks. Two coal mines. But only one pottery works. I think we'll leave the pottery works then. 
Alright, dev. We've already built in dev, so that's already a link, so we don't need that location card. Okay, this is your industries board. I'm in the way, give me a moment. You get a few of these sort of little anecdotal entries. So this is your industries board. On this board, you can find all the industry tiles that you can build. It's so all these. When you build an industry, you always use the lowest level of tile. Once all the tiles of that level are gone, you can build industries from higher levels. The higher the level, the better the industry. It's more efficient, basically. The develop action lets you get rid of industries without building them on the board. During the develop action, you can remove up to two industries. Each industry costs one iron to remove. Let's start slowly. Remove one cotton mill. So I'm going to remove a cotton mill. So I'm going to demolish that industry. You know, to redevelop it. Great, so use the last iron and activated the iron works. Let's continue. We have three more actions until the end of the era. Let's prepare one more sale. Build a link between Burton on Trent and Tamworth. So a link between Burton on Trent and Tamworth. Where is Tamworth? Oh, there we are. It's a bit strange because only rail links. Oh my! Oh no! Okay, we've got a kernel alongside it. Okay. So it's good if a uh, location card. I'm a bit sort of reluctant to get rid of Cold Book Dill because of its name. Let's pop that in there. Okay. So we'll end the turn. Okay, so great, we spent less money than our opponent, so we go before them for the last turn of the era, building an improved cotton mill in Tamworth. Okay, so build. So obviously we've unlocked the improved cotton mill. So cotton mill gives us 5 victory points for income, costs us £14 and requires coal, which is obvious. So I need to get rid of a card. Okay, so it's directed us again. Didn't do that last couple of times. So get rid of the improved cotton mill card. And we'll need coal because we've got no coal of our own. So we bought some coal. So let's fire up the last of the era. So sell industries. Let's see if I actually remember what to do with this. So we've got to I believe. Got to get rid of a card. We've got Worcester. And we've still got Cold Book Dell. I'm gonna get rid of Worcester. Okay, now we've got an industry there shining up. We've also got manufacturers, this duh. How much B do we actually have? It doesn't actually tell you. Uh, not really. We've got a brewery just there. Um, we haven't really got any, have we? Uh, he has though, somewhere I think. Okay, let's sell. We sold cotton before, so we'll sell our manufacturers. Okay. Oh, so so we have got. So Nottingham, we've got buy, buys cotton mill pottery. And manufacturing, as it buys cotton pottery products and manufactured products. Minus one. So the merchants had some beer in stock that we bought. Which is another industry. We've got another sale. Obviously, we've got the cotton mill as well, the improved cotton mill. So, yes, we shall. Right there. We've activated one of our opponent's industries though, which wasn't very good. I 
Okay, but sometimes you have to do dirty D. So had the opponent can't still from their cotton mill as there is no beer left on the board. Let's see what they do. So it actually goes up, don't we? Sold some of our uh, manufactured goods using the beer by bur burning some, buying some, burning some, buying some from Nottingham's merchant market. And then we sold our cotton from our pure cotton mill using their own stocks of beer. Cost us money, which it will do, but now they can't do anything. Let's see what they do. Got a bit of Canuck as a location card. And Walsall. Oh, it's got a link there. Okay, so it's time to end the era. This is the moment when you're awarded victory points. So at the end of the canal era, we start by scoring links. Each link gives us points for activated industries in the locations between the link. Canals become obsolete when mill roads emerge. When the canal era ends, all canals are removed from the board. Well, that's a bit wrong, because it's actually phased out, wasn't they? I mean, you didn't, you didn't get rid of the canals. The canals are still actually there, physically there. All we did was just lay railroads where necessary, where appropriate, alongside canals. So you don't get to phase out your canals. They just disappear off the board. So next we add points for all activated industries. Together with canals, we move the map from the map. All industries that are level one. As they're also obsolete. Wanting level one industries that haven't been built remain on your industry board. You have to develop through them. So in other words, if we've got any class that's at level one when we get into the next era. They're removed from the board, but on the research panel, we still have to research the next tier. Okay. Well, I think that's a win. 43 victory points versus 12. Total. Three VP bonuses for three... Industries, was it? I think it was three industries we activated, so we got three victory points for that. 26 from industries themselves, we inactivated four. 14 versus eight, 43 by the end, and 12. Good grief. So, welcome to Age of Rails. Currently, you are winning the game. I have another secret for you. Although you may have discovered it yourself, the board is a bit bigger. So, you're actually still. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I see what it means. We get rid of the canals themselves, but the links are actually still on the board. There. They're just not physically active anymore. Okay, round one of eight. So we've got another leak location card. In the rail era, the link action changes. Building a rail link requires coal. Well, that's a bit strange because, I mean, the canal boats also wet on coal as well. Okay, let's uh, just ignore that part. Let's build a coal mine in Tamworth. Please note that in the rail era, you have got more, you've got more than one industry per region. So build a coal mine in Tamworth. Where is Tamworth? Well, there. Okay, build a coal mine. Okay. So we've got... That's a bit strange. We've got a coal mine there and a coal mine there. Is that the old industry? It's like obsolete version. Doesn't look like it. Cost seven pounds. Gives us two victory points and seven income. Oh, they're both level two. Okay. Don't know why it gave us both of them there. So we've got to get rid of well get rid of coal mine as a card. Now it's time to link. Select the link action. Just there. 
get rid of we've got three pottery two coal and two iron work so we'll get rid of one of the pottery works again so we've got more choice here we've got four and go north east south or west build a link in the place of your choice oh okay so it's gonna let me make a mistake now is it uh okay so we've got two construction sites there ironworks or manufacturing walsall we've got a brewery he controls it though but he also can't wait a minute okay no no he doesn't so the red oh, okay what am i talking about so the red flags the red uh, colored banners there with the name of the city doesn't denote the colour owner. Alright, uh, okay, north, east, south, or west. We've got all this in what, Birmingham. I mean, it is called Brass Birmingham, so I think we'll link to Birmingham. Okay, so in the real area, you can build two links in one action. Each link requires coal. If you build two of them at once, you also need to provide beer. There's a lot of beer being... You know, it's alcoholics, for God's sake. Everything they do, they need bloody beer. So not enough beer to use. So we can't actually do it, because we've got no beer. We can't buy any from merchants. No. Okay, so we can't actually do it. This is the end of our journey. Finish the game on your own. I will check on you at the end of the game to see how you did. We've got no beer, so we can't sell anything. We've got £16 in our wallet. 43 victory versus 12. Oh, so that's not going to change till the end of the year, the year. So he's already done a train. So a close look at the map. That's a nice piece of artwork, but I was hoping for something a little bit more interactive. Like you sort of, I suppose, you sort of bog standard strategy game. So it is obviously a card game, as you probably guessed. And you cannot control what you get. I mean, there's there's not that many different cards you can get. Obviously, there are second tier and third and fourth. So let's have a look at uh, this is the map for Mermans. We've got Better on Trent, we've got Derby, which is in Derbyshire. We've got Belper. So I can't see Bradford anywhere. See, Birmingham and Bradford are usually pretty much synonymous. But they're not that close together. We've got Oxford there, which is well down to the south. Gloucester. Worcester. In Worcestershire. Where the Worcestershire Shorts comes from. Worcestershire. I'll say that again. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Worcestershire oh, okay, forget it. And Kidderminster. Got Dudley and Colebrookdale right there. We've got Shrewsbury, where the uh, shrewd merchants live. So it's nice to detail. Obviously, it's still early access, so I'm not going to carry on with this. I will count to the next turn. So something's going to be rather confusing until you realise what's going on. A bit like when you activate your industries. You can actually sell goods to activate your industries, but you're actually not selling them physically. You're actually activating the industry by selling a contract to the merchant. That's a wine therapy anyway. Okay, so we've got, we've got some beer now. Buys cotton mill, merchant's bonus money. Okay, so they give us money, that's a bonus. Okay, whatever. We've got pottery. We've not built a pottery in my works yet, so I think we'll build a pottery works. Ah, great, so we can't. So, okay, okay, I see. Yeah, of course, I should remember that. I've actually played Passer 2 Toll before. Can I deactivate that, if you don't mind? No, you can't. Yeah, so there's a, few, there's a good number of bugs here and there. I don't want to do that. I want to try to cancel it. So we've got construction site there, Derby. 
Let's we'll see, we've got our belper. Oh, yeah, so we can't actually build a pottery mine. A pottery mine? A pottery works. Yeah, we've got a card there. Well, that's a bit wrong, isn't it? Select a build slot. And we've got industry here. So, no valid card to build. Because you haven't got a link. Okay. So, yeah, we can't actually get out of this screen now. So, I didn't want to carry on with the... Um, we we'll tap escape to get out. Oh, see, that is buggy. Okay. Alright. So, we've got no link there. So, I think... We shall put a link in. We've got Birmingham Derby. We've already used... We've already got Birmingham. We've already got a link to Birmingham, so we don't need that card anymore. Okay, so for some reason, we're having to build out from our existing link, yet we shouldn't have to. We should be able to build from one of our own industries here. So that is rather limiting. Okay, we've only got one way to actually go. We'll have to go that way. We have got some beer. Wait a minute, we've got some beer in the merchants up here. We saw that, we saw the barrel. Yeah, we've got merch, we've got beer here. We used it before to sell our um, cotton, was it? Or manufacturing goods. It's one of the two. Since we can't build a... Ah, oh, never mind. It's rather limiting, that. So, do we have beer anywhere else? Zoom out. Yes, we have. So, we've got two lots of beer. We've got one in Warrington Merchants, which we could have. And one in Nottingham. Oh, and we've also got some more in Shrewsbury. And, well, two more in Oxford. If my, my eyesight's not playing up. And some more down in Gloucester. Oh, is that electricity? No, it can't be, can it? Seriously, let's have a look. Oh, so you've got to, you've got to look at anything. You've got to also spend, get rid of a card. That's clever. So just to browse the research window, you've got to get rid of a card. Seems to be overly limiting. Okay, all right, whatever, whatever. Okay, let's sell. What do you mean, no industry sell? We just built one. Just built links between Burton on Trent. Oh, right, okay, so we've got... Yeah, so that's rather sort of... Yeah, that can really... Stop you from doing anything in the next era. All of your links are destroyed. So we can't just undo the last turn. Or we can just end the turn. Okay, let's see what else we can do. So we've got industry cards. We've got two coal mines, two pottery works, and two iron works, along with Derby. Okay, okay. So we've got Derby. So we've got a link here to here, but we can also use our location card to uh, build stuff there. Okay, just a manufacturer. Not enough coal. Okay, get rid of the Derby card. Okay, so we shall buy iron at one pound per unit. You zoom in. It sort of snaps back to the set if you zoomed out too far. Uh, okay, so we've got manufacturing. Cannot sell anything? No, obviously you can't. 
So I've got Stafford card he's just giving away. And stuck on chances we need something else. So it's got an improved brewery there. Yep, level two. Yeah. We could sell something right now. Because there is some beer on the... Uh, they said there should be. So no route to market. Oh, good. Great. So we've got to put the link here as well. Alright. Uh, so we've got Worcester. We're not going to build anything at Worcester, that is for sure. Let's pop that into there. So at least we can sell something from Derby. Nowhere else, though. Okay, so we need coal. And so all of our level 1 industries, all of our only our improved cotton mill is still there. And our manufacturer is there. Our coal mine. And everything else that we uh, put together before has gone completely. We'd like to place another line. Go on then. So I can't put one here. Yeah, it's rather lim. It is very limiting, very frustratingly limiting as well. It stops you from really doing what you need to get done. For some illogical reason, we now have to build near Nuneaton. So we've got one choice, Tamworth to Nuneaton, or Birmingham to Nuneaton. We've got an industry there, but that's run by the Red Player. Yeah. So there's nothing else. We've got no replacing any other links or putting industries down. All right. Okay, so now he's going to put a... Oh, I don't believe this. He just goes up to us with our uh, coal mine. I was going to put a coal mine there because I needed the links to it. In order to sell it. So I'm going to put it down before I can actually sell it. It's just pretty much a waste of money. But obviously he's going to go up to us. Bloody cheeky bugger. So we've got... Yeah, okay. So we've got beer there. Um, can we sell anything now? Probably not. Oh, we can. Okay, so we've got a rail between Derby and Nottingham. And we've got... So what is that? That's a manufacturer, isn't it? We want... Okay, we'll keep one of those. Pottery, you don't seem to have been able to put any pottery works down. So I think we'll get rid of one of those cards. Okay. So now what? It's only got end turn. That's all we've got. Um... So, yeah, the links are a bit strange. We've got nothing in Tamworth. Well, yes, we have. We've got... Did I just misread that? Uh, okay. So, we've got... I said... Okay, so that, the, the, the pop-ups that keep disappearing as well. So, we've got Cotmill Level 2. We've got Coal Mine Level 2. In town, so I'm pretty sure I saw a red player play at red there on that owner. Okay, so obviously I've been a bit of a mistake there. So I realised, okay, so we've got Tamworth, we've got two initiatives in Tamworth, we've got the cotton mill and the improved coal mine. So you really need a link between here and here. Okay, Let's see what the red player does. Let's make a zumps us again. 
Birmingham card given away. So yeah, I really wanted to try and get in Birmingham. But it was early stopped because I had to have a link there not to do anything. So I wasn't really ready for all of it to be sort of swept away. I have to start again from the beginning in the next era. That's a bit strange. So all that, in all that industry that you can invest in, if it's all level one, you've got canals everywhere and you spent that sort of money, it's done away with the next era. So really, it's all completely destroyed. So that really sets you back. Well, see, it sets your opponents back as well unless they're level two or higher. Okay, so we have to have a link. So I'm going to put the link in. We've got Stoke on Trent. Um, obviously, we need that at some point. We've got two manufacturing cards and two coal and two ironworks, only one pottery works. Obviously, pottery was massive during this time period, and in fact, before anywhere. Everybody needs plates and cups, don't they? Okay, let's link Burton on Trent and Derby together again. We've got no coal. Actually, because we've actually got a coal mine, we've got an improved coal mine, yet so it's not actually generating anything. Because you're not sealed it yet. So we own. Okay. So you don't own anything in Belper anymore. Nothing in Leak. Nothing in Stoke on Trent. Yeah. So I suppose obviously if you do sort of have industries, it's best if you get them to level two. So concentrate on letting them getting them up to level two or higher for the next year. So anyway, that way you don't lose them when the next era starts. We should have known that first of all. Okay, so we've got two construction sites, one cotton mill or brewery, a manufacturer or brewery. Up here, I think coal mine. So we'll link Belper to Derby. Again, we need to buy more coal. Four? We've got five pounds left. Oh, uh, well. Okay. We've got nothing else to set up. Oh, wait a minute. Stoke on, uh, better on Trent. So, have we got anything to actually sell here? Let's try. Yeah, I thought so. Nothing to actually... So we've got to activate them. So we can do that next turn. So why is it asking me if I want to do anything else? I can't afford to do anything bloody else. You can't build anywhere. Top location to get more information. Yeah. So we can't do anything. We can't sell anything. And we can't build anything. Alright. Uh, we'll stuck on Trinity's now. Where is it? We're stuck on trains up here. Yeah, I think we we'll, we'll keep that car because we want to build something in that industry, so industry in that area. We've got three slots. We want to try and go zoom the red player if we can. So I think industry pays for uh, everything else. So we'll get rid of the manufacturer. So back up to £21 in our bank account. Damn it. That's what I wanted to do. So this goes up to us again. And the brewery there. God damn it. See, obviously we don't know what location card is. He's obviously had a location card in Belper. Although then again, it's our link, isn't it? He's used our link. So really, I suppose if you could sort of put link down, I then use another industry card to put 
and industry down now. See, we spent a bit more money than we should have done. But you don't speculate to accumulate, as they say. All right, so can I sell? I'm going to try and get something in there. Or do I link store contract? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Well, okay. 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 Right. First of all, we'll we'll build a manufacture. Uh, no, we'll build a pottery. I think. Not enough coal there, but we can't buy any. See, the strange thing is, you can actually buy coal at one point, but when you're building something, you can't buy it. You got to actually have it in your stores first of all. So I'm going to build a pottery. I haven't built a pottery works before, so we shall build a pottery works. So content, we don't need it, we'll link it. And we need iron. Well, bloody hell, we've only got two pounds left. Nearly bankrupt. Alright, so we can't put a link in, I don't think we can afford to. No, not enough money. Damn it. Or we could sell no route to market. What about here? So we've got nothing to sell here. Yeah, that's rather confusing. I mean, obviously, we haven't sold anything this turn. So what's going on there? Income points one. Oh, right, I see. Okay, so you, so basically you're not selling individual sort of lots of your product. You're actually selling constantly. Oh, I see. Right, my mistake. So we can't afford to do anything. We can't put any links down and we can't sell anything. So I'll have to pass. So in order to pass, you've got to give a card away. Okay. I've got two ironworks still, two coal. And one pottery. We've already got a pottery, so we can. Uh, I'm mean, looking to give any of them away, actually. Wool soul. Yeah, it's it's a bit strange because obviously you put an industry down, but you still need a link, regardless, via rails in order to sell anything from that industry. Yeah. Okay. Alright, Dudley. It is right down there. But there is nine the works. But obviously, not to get anything, any sort of benefit from it, you've got to have a link to a merchant. And we don't have a cold book deal. Yeah, I didn't give the cold book deal card away. Oh, dear me. Okay, let's get rid of Dudley. Sorry, Dudley. And turn. So I've got more income than he's got, but that's not the point. Yeah, he seems to be able to... He just built that. It hasn't cost him anything. Okay, that did. And then he's got some more money straight back into his kitty. Whereas man doesn't do that, man goes down. Okay, so he's using our links. Yeah. Okay. I'll get that part. Only a bloody part I do get, to be honest. So we've got eighteen pounds in the kitty again, and it keeps snapping back to the bloody middle of the map. Okay, so he's got some beer there. Level two. We've got coal mine there. But again, we'd need to link it up. So how much does a link cost? Cost five pounds and one coal. Oh, I see. right. Okay, so I didn't. Yeah, I didn't see that. So I see putting one link down, railway link now as it is in this era, costs us five pounds and one coal. The cost of two links is fifteen, so it's triple. So it's treble the the, the price on two two coal. And beer. That's where all the money's disappeared. Didn't I didn't read the uh, small print there? 
Oh my god. We've got Walsall, Worcester again, and Burton on Trent. We've already got a link to Burton on Trent, so we can actually build there anyway without a location card. At least I think that's how it works. So I'll get rid of that. I'm going to link these up. Because right now he's got a brewery there, but he can't sell anything because he's got no links. If I put a link down, I'm going to help him. Because there's oh, three. You're joking. Not to ten bloody quid. No, I don't. Not enough beer anywhere. Bloody well do not want to buy another one. Fifteen pounds, I didn't realise that. Three times the original bloody price. Didn't point that out. Okay. So we've got manufacturing just there. We've got no manufacturing card though. Tuh. That gives you anyone had to wear. Um, okay, let's sell. Oh, there's no beer. No route to market. What the heck's that? Okay, so you, if you put a link down, you're going to end the turn. I do want to activate the link. So you can't sell in the same turn that you put the link down. So you can't establish your trade route when you first put a link down. That's a beast. Yeah, um. Okay, we've got a link. Oh, good grief, they've nicked my ear. Uh, so I try and works. Let's take a look. Iron works. Iron works. Iron works. Okay, so I'm linked to here. I've already got a manufacturer there, but I can't actually build an iron works even though I've got a card for it. Well, that's a bit strange, isn't it? So I've got no choice. That's strange, because I've got two Ironwork cards. I don't need the location, because I've got the link. I mean, there I've got two... Oh, no, I've got three links. I've already got a manufacturer there, yet I can't build an Ironworks there. Anyway, it's not enough money... For coal. So how much coal does it require? And yet I've got a coal mine. Well, I've got a coal mine in the area. I've got this one. So you can't buy coal. It's gone up to eight per flip. Bloody hell. It's gone up to eight. Well, price per coal, four. So I've got 10, so the industry is going to cost me X amount as well. Let's have a look, how much is it actually going to cost us? £7. So we are £1 short. There, we're a lot short. Yeah. Um... So we can't sell the pottery just yet. We can't establish a trade route to the merchant from the pottery works because we don't just put the link down. And you have to leave it a single turn, obviously, to activate it. That's what it looks like, anyway. Um, that is unfortunate, isn't it? So we can afford to put a coal mine down there. That might be a good idea. Since we're having to buy coal from the market, so we've got no actual income ourselves anymore from the coal. Manufacturer could put obviously the iron works we can't put down. Or brewery. We've got no coal book deal location, we've got no link, so we can't build there at all. Okay. Okay, let's put a coal mine down. 
Yeah, so I think we can actually do. Seven pounds. So let's get rid of a card to discard. We've got Burton on Trent. We've got Worcester. And Walsall. Or Coal. Okay, we'll get rid of the Coal. Okay, it takes up to plus 19 and 55 or 57 income points. Doesn't really help us right now, so we've only got £11 in the bank. But we can. Oh no, okay, alright, okay, so we've got links there. So we've got the pottery works there, which still has to be linked up to a merchant. And we've got the coal mine as well, okay. So next time we can actually link those up and start trading. He's really going for it this time, isn't he? So we've got thirty pounds plus nineteen income. 55, 57 uh, income points and 46 victory points versus 12. He's got plus 9 coming in. So he's put all this down and he's still it's like behind us a heck of a lot. Probably because he's investing so much but he's not actually linking up to merchants yet. So we've got a loan. Didn't explain that either. So we've got loans. We place two cards from your hand with two wild cards. So he didn't explain that either. Take a 30, 30 pound loan from the bank. That's probably a bad idea. Probably, it'll either open up a window for us to select whether we want to do it or not, or it'll give us a straight away, at which point we'll be in debt to the bloody bank for 30 quid. No route to market. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? We've got these. We've got pottery. I never actually activated these. And yet somehow... That's weird. I didn't actually... I, didn't, I haven't traded with the, the merchant at Warrington at all. So it's cotton mill, it's buying. Oh, you are joking. So it's only buying cotton. Cotton mill, pottery and manufacture. Oh, my. Okay, didn't explain that either, did it? Okay. And that one merchant bonus develop. So it gives you a bonus in development if you're actually trading with that. Bonus in income, which I suppose there would anywhere. Bonus of VP. Yeah, the, the tool tips are a little bit sticky as well. Don't always come up. So who's buying manufacturing? That buys cotton mill. Yeah, it'd be great if I actually... Cotton mill pottery and manufacturing. So we need a link between them and that. Oh, good. If I'd have known that, I could just put the pottery works there. Good grief. All right. Pottery works there. Wait a minute, that gives us four income points, so it only gives us one. Okay, so that, we'll have a... Put the... We'll put a cotton mill there. Uh, oh, coal, oh great. So, three coal, because obviously, for some reason, we own a coal, mate, we're not getting supplied with coal. No, is it we actually own two coal mines? Ah... <laughs> uh. We're not getting any coal, though, so we're not allowed any coal. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. Is it just me or is that weird? 
Yeah, I, I think it's very strange. Very strange. We're on two coal mines, and yet we don't have any coal. I want to buy it from the market because we haven't activated it. Oh, good grief. Yeah, it tells us we can't activate anything. We can't trade anything. We've got two coal mines, which obviously aren't providing anything to the bloody market. Okay, Stafford. Which is dirt. Okay, we'll concentrate on this area then, because obviously this one will accept anything. Cotton, uh, pottery, and manufacturer. So we've got one, yeah. So why are we not selling coal to the market? Why are we not able to get ma coal from the market? And to the market, it's what we should be doing. Okay. Right. Cotton. Okay. 64 income points plus 21 per turn on money. £13 in the uh, kitty. Oh dear me. Okay. So he's put a really between Birmingham and Redditch. Yeah, he's spending a lot of money, yet somewhere he's back up to where almost almost where we are. He's four pounds short. He hasn't got plus six on income. He's got plus six on income, yet somewhere he's up to thirty three pounds. Yeah, he's been spending it like hell around here. Okay, I think a lot of our money disappeared when we put those two lots of um double and triple the price uh real links in. I didn't realise it cost us that much. Yeah, very strange. Okay. So let's look at the uh, moving industry tiles from your player, Matt. It's going to cost us. So we place two cards from your hand with two wild cards. We've got one, two, three. We've got four location cards and four industry cards. So let's select something. So we've got Walsall, which is all the way down here. It's not too far away. I think it's just alongside Tamworth, isn't it, I suppose. So I won't get rid of that. Ooh. Ooh, what's this one? Select card to swap for wild industry. Next place has to what what is this? Let's see what that is. That's just a wild card for industry. Or is that location? Yeah, I think this is location. He's looking at a map. Oh, okay, okay, so we've got to get rid of it. Wait a minute. Just got rid of a card, and let's just pop these up, and I need to get rid of another card. Dudley. We've already built in Dudley. Oh, we haven't built in Dudley. Coventry. Oh, I see, so it costs you actually three cards. So you've got to act to it. Whatever you do, it's going to cost you at least one card, even passing. And that's for this one, the two wild cards that you get, you got to uh, swap them for the other two bloody cards. So that's a location card, and that's that's a bit strange. I mean, that looks like an industry card, and yet this is a location card. Okay, give it a Dudley. So what did I get? You don't know until you select them. Mm hmm. Okay. So according to this, our activated industries include our two coal mines. 
And yet, yeah, quite clear they are. Income points is 2. So if each points are 2, income points are 7. Income points are 7 and 2 victory points again. They're all activated. Yeah, I don't remember doing that. Yeah, okay. So obviously we building this here was useless. At least for now anyway. The pottery man cannot but pottery man the pottery works cannot sell anything to Warrington because so doesn't accept that as a good. Which is nice, isn't it? And it doesn't accept manufacturers either, so no point building anything. So manufacturers there that was a complete waste of money. Income points are contact with five, but obviously they need to be activated to get those. Oh, good grief. Um, okay, we'll put some links down. I might as well. Okay, so they don't accept coal either. They only accept cotton. Yeah. Yes, okay, so then again, accept cotton. So pretty much it's useless getting that. So really, I should really demolish that and get rid of it. So I'm going to go to here. One, not two. So coal's going to cost us four. So that pushes the price up. No, I don't want to spend three times the money. And some beer as well. Thank you very much. Okay, so we've got a coal mine there, or cotton mill. Oh, good grief. So uh, oh, I want to put up another industry there, but obviously it won't let me now. Okay, so I think I realise what else we've done wrong. So put the industry down, then put the link in. It lets you do both. You put a link in, it lets you not do anything else. You have to uh, end the damn turn. Oh, great. Now all the rails have disappeared. What's next? We've got, we've got 74 victory points right now. 93. Oh, that was easy. Also, that's just against one opponent. Also, you can have up to five opponents. I see we were paying attention during our training. Congratulations and good luck in your future games. So I won anywhere. Well, yeah, it's rather confused that. So if you put a rail link down or a canal link down, you can't actually do anything else. If you put an industry down, then you can put a rail link or a canal link down, at which point, then the next turn, you can activate your uh, industry by selling to the merchant. If you do this one way around, or the wrong sequence, you make a complete mess of it. At 93 versus 39. There's a few niggles here and there, which I've already seen. But that's it. That's the end of this first impression, early access of Brass of Birmingham. So if you enjoyed, if you did, don't forget to click like. It is very much appreciated. If you receive a comment to ask a question, you are more welcome to do so. But please remember to keep the comments and questions on topic with the video subjects. The moderators do remove off-topic posts. And of course, abuse and spam will not only get your comment uh, removed, but also blocked and reported to YouTube. All right, don't forget we have Discord, Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. you find the links to all those platforms on the banner on the front page of the channel. You'll also next to those links on the banner from the of the channel, you also find a donate button, which takes you to PayPal. If your link is gratefully accepted and goes straight back into uh, providing content now and in the future. All right, so once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't done so already. So I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, as always, take care. Bye-bye.